welcome everyone to my channel space remote sensing and gis so as you see in the last two classes we understand about the image segmentation process so that we already discussed and after that we also seen how we will uh, use the training classifier okay to over the segmented image from the segmented image how we will how we'll uh, take the segmented files okay so now today we are actually trying to do the classifications over that particular image okay so let's see how we're going to do that so uh, as you seen the last exercise which you did that we are actually um, collected the segmented uh, samples now we are actually going to finish this uh, with the using the image classification process okay that we, we are actually previously segmented and identifying the damage area from the recent forest fire which you've seen already so now uh, that we, we we have to create the segmented raster that is actually training samples of you are actually ready uh, to create the history classifier definitions as you've seen okay files and uh, classify this particular raster so history classifier definition file how we're going to create and then how we're going to classify this raster okay so in this exercise we will actually going to uh, use the training support uh, vector machine classifier okay so to classify this uh, raster tools to create the thematic rasters so let's see so to doing this uh, we are going to uh, run a new user processing tool that is the support vector machine classification tool okay so you can come to the analysis and uh, under the tools here you can type is support vector machine classification okay so we can use this particular tool that is basically the support vector machine classification tool which we are going to apply now here you see there is a change support vector machine classification image analysis tool whatever we have i'm just going to select that particular tool okay so here uh, you need to give the first the input data so your input data will be this one okay now uh, the sample, uh, the, the input training sample files, wherever you, you saved your uh, input training sample files, that you have to upload here. So I, I saved this data over here. So I'm just uh, going to uh, open that data from uh, this particular plate under the database, <coughs> under this classification DDB. So this is my uh, WTF training final data set, which I'm just going to upload over. Okay. So now uh, you want to save your definition file. So here uh, you can type your definition file wherever you want to save. So suppose I'm just going to save uh, my file under this output. So here you see uh, I can give some name like uh, w two underscore. Okay. So like final. Okay. So now here it is important. You have to type dot e okay e c d otherwise see here this file will not save it will going to show you error over here okay so that you should remember always whenever you are running it <laughs> okay so now uh, here the maximum number of sample size you can give it as a zero okay and uh, the segment attributes you can select here select alls okay so that's all that's all so now here you can click over the run. So let's wait for the results. Yes. Now this is the first steps which is done like green. That means you are created the classifier means uh, the classifier definition file which is required for the classifications. Okay. So that you are created. So now uh, you can go back and here you can type as a classified classify raster you can use this tool from here or from image analysis also you can select your image and from here also you can select the classifier so both options will be there okay so from anywhere you can select it okay now your input data obviously your this one is your input data set so you have to select your input data now the next important thing you have to select your definition file which you created so let's open that uh, definition file so i having my definition file over here the output and this is my the file which i created so i select it and simply click on ok now this is done 
So now you have to run this image to classify it. So let's see, let's wait for the, see this is the results which is came out. So these are the buildings which are actually, we can say the red buildings which are actually the damaged buildings. We all know that is building debris. So, so we have created this classified thematic rasters that are shown for every pixels. Okay, so being actually classified to better quantifying the damage area, you can deliver derived it uh, to that building from this debris also. If you want, you can extract that also. Suppose I want to only extract this one. Okay, so then how we're going to extract only this this uh, buildings? So uh, there is one more tool you have here. You can use that. So like you can type here here like extract extract attribute extract by attributes you can use this particular tool okay so here in this case you have to input raster whatever the final classified image okay and here you can create a clause like uh, i i want to give a clause like class name class name is equal to that my building definition so that particular object i can target so that is the importance of what we are doing in attribute based classifications okay so simply click on run so see the classified file will come up so if you switch off here okay so see these are the only buildings which will be damaged buildings okay so if you match with the classes or not with this so these are the classes you see here. So whatever this white one, these are your damage building that day in the last class we I showed you. So and I targeted it and we extracted it. You just see that. all the damage building we extracted. Okay. So that is the most beautiful thing over here. So now this is the wildfire map. And if you just overlay this particular layer over this, now you see you can zoom on that particular area and you can see all the damaged buildings okay so that are extracted okay and it was classified nicely so that is what you can say um, uh, the, the, the importance of the segmentation techniques how it is targeting an object in a very nice way okay Okay, so now you can see here it is fine uh, it is uh, the whatever the damage building it is classifying fine but you see some places it is actually the overlaps is actually coming over here so if you see this is the place where it is actually should not be the damage building but still it is coming so these are the few things here there which you can recorrect it also okay so that is the uh, things also you can do over <clears throat> this particular final layer Okay, so in that case, you can select this. Okay, and uh, uh, here you have one options like imagery under the pixel editor. You have this reclassify option. Okay, so using this reclassify tool, uh, you can change uh, uh, old class to new class. So that you have to fix it here, which one is your new class. Okay, you can see in a pixel editor, the current uh, classes, whatever will be there, any okay so that you can change uh, what class to uh, what particular class you have to set that you can set it here so if you see this is the current class whatever it is showing that is the building debris so here you can see select this current class as a building debris and the new class what will be so that will be your road so that i fixed over here okay so once you fix this okay now you can uh, locate the cemented building debris which is misly classified means as you have seen here so it is a misclassified so you can you can check it over there okay so now you see i if i use this reclassify <coughs> uh, okay so this is basically the reclassify pixel which we want to the reclassify you want to select that particular pixels okay so the operations you can go for the expansions so uh, reclassify region uh, options will be there so you can select the area like this and see once I double click now the class will the class will be reclassified and if you want to save it so you can save it okay so automatically it will update so that's all so I hope you like the video so if you like the video please uh, uh, 
subscribe my channel okay so you will come with the next class with a very exciting video so this is a finish of the all the process of the segmentation techniques to doing the segmentations collecting the signature from the segmentations and finally the classifications and uh, the reclassification process that's all thank you very much